Starting off a little tutorial about how to set up the uh, controller with your PC. Uh, some things you might want to know about the communication settings you can find on page 42 in the manual. Um, that's kind of where it starts. And then you can read about how you need to set it up and change the kind of standard settings to get it to work. Okay, so uh, turning the system on you might already know, but there are two power buttons. You just hold both of them down and it'll boot up. And look at this, we get an error that says we have to put all of the switches in the lower position. Uh, pretty much the throttle, which is this one, it has to be down so that your drone doesn't accelerate when you start it, because it could be dangerous. Okay, so uh, you can get the pencil on the down left bottom corner in the back and then we're gonna go over some of the system settings that you have to set up in order for it to work all right so now we got our pencil we're gonna fix some of these settings we just went into the system tab so we're gonna uh, go to the rightmost page here by switching it twice then we go to system here we will have a lot of buttons so first we want to uh, calibrate the system the screen so that it has precision because it might be important when you're on the field and you wanna change th some of these settings quick when you don't have time uh, after that we go down to the USB function page click that and the standard for this system is set to none. Uh, all we want to do in order to have it work with your computer, with your simulator program, uh, is change this to the emulator one. After that, you're going to be able to connect it to your PC and get it to respond. And when you have done that, you just go back and it will all work.